for that. As investors look for signs of an economic recovery, what should you be investing in right now? Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends, joins us to tell you about three top ETF plays that you need to own right now. Hey, Tom, good to see you. You say number one is actually in the commodity space, iShares Silver Trust. Tell us why. Right, Chris, you know, silver's been on fire. All eyes have been on gold, but silver just broke above that psychological $20 an ounce level. Again, it's not just a precious metal, but also a, a base metal used in uh, automobiles. There's an ounce of silver in your computer monitor right now. So as we continue to see more demand for commodities across the world, and as a safe haven, silver surely, along with gold, gets a lot of attention. What makes so, you so sure that's going to continue, Tom? Well, uh, for a variety of reasons. Not only demand in emerging markets where we see great, great demand on the silver side, but we're also protection against the dollar. And then on top of that, I think the pure benefits of ETFs with the fact that commodities now are an asset class for investors that weren't available five years ago. The fact that you can go in buy an ETF very liquid and then get out if you want to without having to buy a, a mm -hmm. silver bar or coins. Uh, to a, deg to a okay. degree, it's a, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. I just want to get on to the next one because sure. we don't have a ton of time, but I know that there's a lot of folks out there that believe this is very surely a bubble in treasuries. You've yeah. got a way for them to play it. Tell me what it is. Yeah, the ProShares the pro 20-plus year treasury inverse ETF. So if treasury prices actually decline in value, this will go up twice that amount and it's it's hit this very critical point where it's just about to go above its 50-day uh, average again with all this money that's flown into long treasuries as people are chasing yields this bubble at one point in time is going to burst and is that trade eminent I think so. Yeah, maybe it's a good hedge on what's going on today, I guess, if you don't believe that this trend can continue. Um, you're also betting on a housing market comeback. Well, again, this is important. We saw the housing prices down, but, but that's yeah. resale housing. You know, home builders got decimated the last few years. And now, uh, you saw the August numbers, uh, number of new homes improved by about 10%, uh, again, off a very low number. But the other thing is the average new home is actually a smaller size these days. So there's some demand. There's some of us that just want to buy new homes. We don't want to buy resale homes. We don't want to buy someone else's problems. I think we're <laughs> I'm with you, too. But I, I think we're going to continue to see that going forward. There's going to be more demand, okay. especially if we get improving numbers. Some interesting ideas, Tom yeah, Lydon. Good to so see much. you. Yeah, good seeing you folks, too. Take care. <laughs> Strategy.